Hello and welcome to day eight of the wonder of Easter, Peter's big claim. So where are we going today? Well, Jesus knew that Peter was about to say three times that he never knew him. But Jesus still made sure that Peter was safe in his family forever. So today we need to open our Bible to Luke chapter 22 verses 31 to 34. But before we begin, let's pray. Dear Father, thank you that we can read your Bible, understand what it means to be changed by your spirit and be more like Jesus. Amen. So where are we in the Bible? Well, Jesus is sitting with his closest friends, enjoying that special Passover meal, and it's the night before his death. Look out for which side you think Peter is on. Confusingly in this story, he's called both Simon and Peter, but he's the same person. So let's read the story from Luke 22, verses 31 to 34. Satan has asked to test all of you as a farmer tests his wheat. Simon, Simon, I have prayed that you will not lose your faith. Help your brothers be stronger when you come back to me. But Peter said to Jesus, Lord, I'm ready to go to prison with you. I will even die for you. But Jesus says, Peter, before the cro cock crows tonight, you will say you don't know me and you will say this three times. So what did Jesus say he was ready to, what did Peter even say he was ready to do? And why do you think he said that? What did Jesus say Peter would do that day? If you have three and four year olds, perhaps ask them, did Peter know Jesus? If you have five to sevens, Peter said that he would do anything for Jesus. But Jesus said that Peter would lie and say he didn't know Jesus at all. Who do you think was right? If you have over sevens, Jesus said that he had prayed for Peter so that Peter would keep trusting Jesus. Jesus had prayed that Peter would always stay here in this group. But who kept Peter in this group? Was it Peter or Jesus? If you have teenagers, perhaps ask them. Jesus tells Peter that Satan wants to test Peter. Do you think Jesus wants to frighten Peter? Reassure him? Make him feel guilty? Or just tell him what's happening? If you have time at the end, perhaps you could pray. When it would help when would it help you to know that Jesus was in charge of everything that will happen? Thank Jesus that we can trust him to be in charge. And thank him that he can keep us safe. Lord God, I thank you that you do keep us safe, even when it doesn't feel like it, even in the midst of a big pandemic. Thank you, Lord, that you are always there fighting for us. Amen. Oh.